Hello, I'm Jessica Boyer with your SCV News Break for Tuesday, April 28th. Two men suspected of committing multiple crimes Tuesday afternoon were arrested by Santa Clarita Valley Sheriff Station deputies. During an afternoon crime spree, two men allegedly robbed a victim of a cell phone in Valencia. The suspects then fled to their new model black Dodge Charger to a gas station on Lyons Avenue and allegedly pointed a gun at another victim. Deputies caught up with the suspects around 3.15 p.m. in the Golden Oak Plaza parking lot in Saugus near Foster's Freeze. The two men were detained while deputies searched the car and were later taken into custody. The suspects are allegedly linked to at least three crimes including assault, robbery and criminal threats. The sheriff's station did not release any information on the suspects' names pending further investigation. The Saugus Union School District is being sued by a local man alleging its at-large elections violate the California Voting Rights Act. Jim Solis claims the district's at-large method of elections has resulted in a vote dilution for Latino residents. He also alleges that the district has denied Latinos effective political participation in elections to the district's Board of Trustees. Most other districts have changed elections after several CVRA lawsuits challenged the governing boards. District officials are planning on discussing CVRA compliance at an upcoming board meeting. 1,500 Santa Clarita Valley residents attended a meeting at Canyon High School Monday night to voice their opinions on the proposed high-speed rail plan. Representatives from Santa Clarita, San Fernando, Acton, and Agua Dulce came together to dispute the plan based on negative effects each city would face. City Councilman Tim Ben Boydson says it's crucial to have support from all communities that are opposed to the routes. There is only one way that we can either stop high-speed rail completely or at least make it so it doesn't negatively impact us, and that is by sticking together. Monday's discussion focused on the North Los Angeles County portion of the $68 billion San Francisco to LA above ground railway. It's too expensive that the money that they're using, the billions of dollars that they're using can be used for other things that we need to, um, to rebuild our, our deteriorating infrastructure in California. Everybody keeps complaining about it. This is just an added expense that is unnecessary in my view. Rail officials are aiming to have a final environmental impact report for the project completed by summer 2017. More public meetings and community-wide open houses are expected to be held by the High Speed Rail Authority in upcoming months. The Castaic Lake Water Agency has completed a bond sale that can mean big savings for customers. The CLWA completed the $64 million bond sale to refund an outstanding bond series. The annual savings will reduce debt service for capital improvement projects funded by taxpayers and developer impact fees. CLWA Board President Tom Campbell says the agency's strong financial and management policies, secure water supply during a drought situation, and good credit ratings helped achieve the low rates and overall savings. Now on to weather. Sunny skies in the Santa Clarita Valley left us with highs in the low 90s Tuesday. Overnight lows are expected to drop into the low 60s. The rest of the week will stay in the 90s until Friday when temps are still going to be in the upper 80s. This weekend is going to be in the low 80s throughout. That's all for your SCV News Break. For more local news, log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Jessica Boyer.